All right, in this video, we're gonna pick right up from where we left off in part one of the KOWP complex animation wire pods or lines animations. And the goal here is to make these lines that we created in part one, all these different shapes, we wanna make them appear to be drawn onto the screen. We created these series of shapes back in part one, so make sure you check that out. But something new before we dive into the animations, go ahead and add yourself two globals a on off switch to quickly toggle this animation just for demonstration purposes. You can link this up to text or list globals as well. And then add yourself a duration number global. I call it dur, D U R. This is going to be how long it's going to take all of this stuff to get drawn onto the screen. Also, what I have done is I've added a font icon, and that's this star that you see at the top of the screen. And the only thing I've done here is just set its touch to toggle the global switch go. Just a quick way that I can toggle these animations on and off. Now, with all that said, let's go ahead and go to this center line. This is the first thing we want to animate when this animation happens. Theoretically, when this is all working, when the animation is all off, you're not gonna see any of this stuff. And then when we cut the animation on, the first thing we want to animate out is this horizontal line right here in the center. What I want it to do is I want it to start from right here in the center as pretty much nothing, a teeny tiny dot that you cannot see. And then I want it to slide out to the left and right at the same time. Then once the line is drawn out, I want this half circle to be drawn and this half circle to be drawn at the same time. That's the second part to our animation. And then the third part to our animation is gonna be all four of these pods getting drawn onto the screen as well. We have three parts to this entire animation that's important to understand. And now let's talk about the center line. So I'm inside of my center line. I'm going over to the animation. I'm going to set an animation to react on a global switch. That global switch needs to be go. The ease, let's go ahead and set that to straight. The action, let's set that to complex animation. And then let's go ahead and adjust our duration as well for GV dur. Now, my GV dur is currently set to 40. 40 represents four seconds. It is not going to take four seconds for this line to be drawn. The reason why, inside of our animator, we want this line to be drawn first. That's the first part of our animation. Then we wanna draw these circles. That's the second part of our animation. And then we want to do these pods, which is the third part of our animation. So technically, this line being drawn only needs to be one third of our animation. That's gonna be roughly 33% inside of this complex animation. So let's add at 0%, let's set the scale X to zero. And what this is going to do at the beginning of the animation, we're not going to see this center line. But then at 33%, this number does not need to be exact. You can play around with this percentage here, but I'm doing one third of my animation. I want my scale X to be at one. What this is going to do for the first one third, roughly, of my animation, this line is going to be drawn out. Let's check this out. Now, if I press this star, we should see a line getting drawn out here. Let's see what happens. So there's that line getting drawn. Now, that line did not take four seconds for it to get drawn completely to its spot. Let's test that again. Now I just pressed the button, it's gonna take a while for it to close back up because of the four second animation. But if I press it now, it's only gonna take like a second and a half or something like that. It's actually taken 33% of the entire duration. Let's keep 33% in mind because now we're ready to start animating these two half circles. So back inside of root, let's add a shape. Let's rename this shape to clip top half big circle. So this shape, this square, clip top half big circle, I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this up and I'm going to put it right above top big circle. Now, this clip top half big circle, I'm just going to change its color so you can see it. We're getting ready to make this thing completely disappear, but it'll be all right. And let's make its size the same as the width or the diameter of this circle, which was 400 if you watch part one. So there we go, it's set to 400. Now let's position this square in the center of the screen. And since I want to clip the top half, I wanna clip the top half of this big circle, I'm actually going to bump this square down half the diameter 
of the circle or the radius. So that's going to be 200. All right. Now here comes the magic. I'm getting ready to go and clip this top part. This top part's getting ready to disappear because notice where I have this thing layered. I have clip top half big circle above the top big circle, which is this part that you see right here on the mouse, that half right there. Again, we made that in part one. So going to clip top half big circle, FX, let's go to mask, let's clip next module. Now the top half is gone, it's clipping that. What we want to do is, in this animation, once the line, the center line is drawn out, I want this square that used to be red, but now it's a clipping mask, I want this square to slide up and expose the top half of this big circle. So to do that, I'm gonna go to animation, we're gonna react on the same global switch, so there's our global switch go. Let's set our action to complex animation. Set your ease to straight. And let's go ahead and fix our duration before we jump into the animator. So for duration, set it to GV dir. All right. Now, inside of our animator, at 33%, that is when the line, the center line is going to be done drawing. So at 33%, I want the Y offset to be zero. I don't want this thing to move for the first 33% of this animation because I'm waiting for that center line to get drawn. Now, for the next third of the animation, which is gonna take us roughly to 66%, this doesn't have to be precise, this is when I want the square, that red square that used to be red, but now it's a clipping mask, I want it to move up to expose that half circle. And that's gonna be half the diameter or the radius of that circle, which is going to be 200. However, since I want it to go up, uh, KOWP uses negative numbers inside of here to move it up. So there's my Y offset. Let's check this. Now I'm going to press this button. It's going to do something funky for a second, but we're going to have it all looking right in a second. So maybe you just noticed that line went away. Now, when I play this, what should happen is, is this line should grow. Once it grows, you should see the circle start to pop up on the screen because this clipping mask that we've just animated, based on our duration and based on those percentages, it should be drawn uh, from here and here up to the center. Let's play it and see. Here comes our line. There goes your half circle. It's getting drawn onto the screen. That's working perfect. Let me reverse this. It's gonna take a second for it to do this because it's counting from four seconds, but notice the line is doing that as well. So let me zoom in on this and let's watch it one more time. Line getting drawn. Once it gets drawn, our circle, our top half is getting drawn as well. Very cool. Now let's take this clip top half big circle, let's copy and let's paste it and let's clip the bottom half of the big circle. Good news. What we have to do here is just some minor adjustments. Now remember, the initial square that we made, we put it down here. If I want to clip the bottom half, I initially want to put my square up here, and I want this square to move down to expose the bottom half of the big circle. So what we're going to do is go to position, change our Y offset to negative 200, which is going to move it up. Notice the red outline here. And if I, let's go ahead and back out of here real quick. I still had the clipping attached to this. The clip bottom half big circle under its FX is set to clip next module. Well, it's not clipping anything because I don't have anything beneath it in my layers, in my items. But if I come and move this right here, right above bottom big circle, notice the bottom big circle just disappeared. And the only way we can get this bottom big circle to pop back up is if we take this clip bottom half big circle and we animate it down. So let's go to our animation. Everything's set up, ready to go, except now we need to come to our animator and just change the Y offset to 200. We want this to move down. Let's save that and let's check it. And uh, let's give it a second to kind of do its reset thing. Let it all get redrawn. Now everything's gone with the exception of the wired pods because we haven't animated those or applied mass to them yet. So what we should see now is the line get drawn and we should see the top half and the bottom half get drawn at the same time, but there's two masks that are causing this animation to happen. There's your line, there's our two circles, perfect. Now, remember, the two circles are finishing up around 66%. 
So when do you want these pods to animate in? Do you want it to animate in at 66%? You don't have to. You can play around with these percentages. But what we want to do now is create something to mask these pods. And all of these pods are sitting inside of that overlap group that we created back in part one. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to add a circle. So here's my shape. I'm going to change this to a circle. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this as well. Clip pods. Now this circle that we're going to use to clip our pods, I'm going to go ahead and position it in the center of the screen. So there's our circle. Now this shape, I'm going to go ahead and make it just about as big as the entire big circle in the middle, which was at 400. But I'm going to leave it just a hair under, maybe at 380. That way I don't stand any chance of this rectangle or this little wire, or I call them antennas or whatever. I don't stand any chance of those getting shown. Maybe if I put it at 400, maybe it would show, maybe it wouldn't. That little bit's not going to make a big difference. Trust me. Now, what we want to do with this is we want to clip these pods. If these pods are not inside of this shape, we're not going to see them. So if I go to FX, Mask, Clip Next Module, it's not going to clip them yet because I don't have the clip pods where it needs to be. But if I slide it above Big Pods, now the Big Pods have disappeared. The reason why is because this clip pod circle is only right there. I need to make this circle grow to make it show these pods. So let's go to clip pods, let's go to its animation, and let's apply a complex animation. So everything's set up, we're acting on a global switch, the globals go, complex animation, ease is straight. I haven't done the animator yet, but I did go ahead and do the GV dir. That way all this stuff is linked together. Now for the animator, when do I want this circle to scale out, which is going to essentially expose all four of those pods? I'm going to do it somewhere around 66%. Again, feel free to play around with these numbers. Oh, what the heck? I'm going to do 60%. Why not? Now we can come in here and fine tune this if it's doing it too soon, or we can do it, uh, make it a little bit longer if it's doing it too late. That's really up to your taste. But what I want to do here at uh, 60%, I want it to have a scale XY of one. Basically for the first 60% of this animation, I don't want anything happening to my scale. However, to complete the entire animation, because this is the last animation that's going on for this tutorial, I want the scale XY, let's see, let's try 1.5. I don't want it to get too big. I just want it to get big enough to where it's going to show those pods. I may need to come back and adjust that number. Let's find out. So I'm going to press the star to kind of reset everything back. And notice everything is drawing nicely. So I'm going to zoom in. When I press this, we should see the line. Then we should see the two half circles. And hopefully we can see all the pods. If we don't see all the pods, if it's getting cut off, or if it's coming too soon, we can adjust it. Let's have a peek. All right, so you see how the, those pods started getting drawn, you know, a little bit later in the animation. I like that effect. The only thing I need to fix is the scale of my complex animation. So coming back into the animator, let's just go ahead and bump this up to two. I think if we bump the scale XY up to two, we should be good to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and save this, check it, save my preset. So coming back to the home screen, let's press our button. We should see the line, the two half circles, and then those four pods. And as you can see, it is showing all of the pods. That circle is scaling out big enough so that it's unmasking all of those pods. Let's reverse this. Really nice effect. And what's happening here is it's taking four seconds for all of that to happen. Let's go back into KOWP and let's adjust our duration in our globals since everything's linked to our duration. If I bump this down to like two, it's going to be fast. 20 is going to be two seconds. So let's save that and go back to the home screen. It's going to take two seconds for all of this to happen. Notice that is a lot faster. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Now, what do you start doing from here? You start putting things inside of your pods or whatever you want to do. Have some fun. Feel free to incorporate those other pods that I mentioned back in part one to give your own effect as well. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.